first time in five years, the Indian Air Force conducted its full skill firepower demonstration Vayu Shakti on 17th of February at Pokhran. With thunderous explosions, over 50 tons of ammunition were dropped in a span of two hours at one place in full public layer. Beginning in daylight and continuing into night, effectively highlighting the Air Force round the clock operational prowess. Hours before the exercise, in an exclusive interview with Nitin Gokhale, editor in chief Bharat Shakti, Air Chief Master B.R. Chaudhary explained the significance of the mega war game. Offensive action is the essence of air power. This um, air power demonstration, Vayu Shakti, is one of the means to synchronize the full spectrum of operations of the Air Force. From the RPAs to the helicopters to the fighters to transports and so on. So we, what we'll display in, in, in these two hours of time is uh, not only delivery of around 40 to 50 tons of uh, ammunition in a small radius of about one kilometer, but synchronization between various formations. It will also, uh, you know, display the the uh, skills of the individual air crew as to how proficient they are in delivering ammunition on target and on time. Aligned with this year's theme, lightning strike from the sky, more than 120 aircraft showcased their capabilities. A Rafale fighter jet engaged in a simulated dogfight by firing the Mika air to air missile at flying target for the first time in their exercise Vayu Shakti. Reminiscent of the last dogfight between Indian and Pakistani pilots on 27th February 2019, where India lost a MiG-21 jet but successfully shot down a Pakistani F-16. The Apache attack helicopter showcased its firepower by launching the Hellfire anti-tank missile capable of hitting targets up to 10 km away, while Mi-17 helicopters engaged ground targets with rockets. In another first, the Indian Air Force displayed how air power can be used to mobilize Army's firepower. Chinook helicopters showcased the swift deployment of combat assets by airlifting the Army's M777 ULH guns in underslung mode. The heavy lift Chinooks have been instrumental in deploying troops and equipment, particularly during the military standoff with China along the line of actual control in Eastern Ladakh. For the first time this time, we are displaying the how air power can be used to mobilize the army firepower. Uh -huh. So the M777 howitzers will be carried underslung by Chinook. Right. It will be delivered at the so-called battlefield, simulated battlefield, mm -hmm. and they will also demonstrate the firepower there. As the sun descended on the horizon, Garuts, inserted by Mi-17 helicopters, executed an urban intervention, showcasing their proficiency in anti-terror insurgency operations focused on clearing hideouts of hostile elements. The indigenous air defense systems, AKAS, and summer missile systems were also demonstrated. In the night events, the indigenous light combat helicopter percent capabilities were unveiled for the first time as it neutralized designated targets with rockets. The Air Force also displayed a long-range unmanned drone which destroyed a simulated enemy radar site with pinpoint accuracy. The Indian Air Force will always remain a decisive arm of national security. Uh, given the um, resources that we have today, given our uh, capabilities and what we are building up in the future, I think we will remain a very potent force in this entire uh, neighborhood here. And um, adaptation of new technologies, quick absorption of new technologies right. is only going to accelerate the change. And uh, we will be ever ready to protect the nation. The last Vayu Shakti was conducted on February 16, 2019, just two days after the Pulmama terror attack. Ten days later, the Indian Air Force had launched the Balakot air strikes. Indian Air Force let loose its deadly missiles, smart bombs and other precision guided munitions to test operational readiness against China and Pakistan in full public glare in the deserts of Rajasthan. Vayu Shakti 2024 showcased the full spectrum of operations that Indian aerospace power can take on. It was conducted in a near realistic scenario. This is Ravi Shankar from Pokhran Air Range near Jaisalmer for Bharat Shakti.